Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for an all new Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar 966M weathered medium wheel loader by Diecast Masters, the item number 85703. This is yet another addition to the growing line of Diecast Masters weathered construction vehicles. Now the 966M was released in a factory clean paint job. You can see that right here. And if you'd like a more in-depth review of that machine, be sure to consult the link at the top right corner of your screen right now. Back to the weathered 966M. It's going to have the appearance that it's been working for a number of years. It comes in this large white outer shipping box. So let's open one side of it. Now, the main box style is very similar to Diecast Masters Evolution Series, if you are familiar with those models. As you can see, it has a black outer sleeve, which has the Weathered Series logo and a description of the model inside. So let's go ahead and remove the sleeve. Finally, we get to the box that actually holds the model, and you can see that the loader is nicely presented on this resin display base, and we'll take a closer look at that here momentarily. The way to open this style of packaging is to actually put it this way. I like to call it shoebox style packaging because it opens well, kind of like a shoebox, just like that. And here you can see a real 966M wheel loader hard at work. Here's the Diecast Masters 2022 edition of their CAT product lineup in their catalog. I always encourage you to hang on to this. Now, we get to the real fun. The level and attention to detail in packaging this model is superb. So you should have no problems whatsoever with your model arriving damaged. As you can see, I am continuing to remove all of the packaging material until we get to the resin base seen here. If you take a closer look at it, you can see that in the resin base, there are indentations for the tread marks that match up with the wheel loader. And on this side, you can see a stockpile of material with actual teeth markings in it that coincide to where the teeth are located on the wheel loader's bucket. That's the resin display base. Let's continue the unboxing. We finally get to the bottom where we see our first look at the 966M wheel loader. Be careful what you grab onto because there are some potentially fragile detail pieces, such as the mirrors and handrails, that you don't want to mistakenly break off with some aggressive mishandling. We have the large display table spin table out, so let's take a look at some of the details and really focus in on the factory weathering job. And again, for a model that is mass produced, the weathering job is really, really exceptional. We'll start with the wheels where you can see there are some scrape marks and the tread patterning is a bit worn down. There is dirt and grime all the way throughout the wheel loader. And just like the 745 articulated dump truck, the level of weathering and the amount of weathering gets lighter as you go up the machine. So there's much more on the bottom, less so as you move to the top. Here I'm demonstrating that by showing you that there's only a few speckles of material on top of the cab and likewise on top of the engine cover. The metal hand and grab rails are to scale and are also weathered with some scraping on them as well. Across the articulation joint, you can see that there is some weathering applied as well. And on the back of the counterweight, which you'll notice with when this spins back around, there is additional scraping for where the machine might have backed into some material. Now, on the bucket, the front of the wheel loader, it has some paint that has been scuffed off and removed from obvious repeated use of the bucket. One thing I'd like to point out that you're now seeing is this model would have looked even better if perhaps a couple of these teeth were either missing or they were a different color, implying that some of the teeth were so worn down they had to be replaced. As far as other weathering aspect highlights that I want to point out on this model, if you look at the cab area where the windshield wiper is, I will draw your attention to that right now, notice that where the windshield wiper actually covers on the windshield is much more clearer than the rest of the whole plastic windshield on the front of the machine. That is a very nice touch that I like a lot. Our operator figure is not going to be getting a shower anytime soon. On this version of the model, he is permanently affixed inside the cab. That's some of the highlights of the weathering aspect on this model. Let's transition now to functionality. 
For functionality, we begin with the wheel functionality. It is a rubber tired machine, and as you can see, they roll very, very freely and unobstructed. Now, the rear axle as well has a bit of oscillation, which is good to see. Every wheel loader model should have that. This machine steers by articulation, and that works rather well across the articulation joint. You can angle it to operator's right or to operator's left. Unfortunately, this model suffers the same issues that the first version of this loader had, the clean version that you saw in the beginning of the video, and that is that the... Although the loader arms raise to a decent enough height, there is almost no curl back angle and definitely no dumping angle. So unfortunately, you can't display this model dumping completely into a dump truck, which again is something I really wish would have been retooled for the weathered version of this model's release. At the lower end of things, again, you will see some of the modeling pose limitations. You can achieve a aggressive cut angle, which is nice to see, but again, there's very, very little curl back for a carry angle. All right, let's get on to some displays. All of this can be forgotten because basically this model was designed to be a static display model that you put on the resin base. So here is it displayed on the resin base. Make sure you line up your bucket teeth with the teeth indentations into the stockpile for the ultimate realistic view. And honestly, if you're putting this on your desk at work, or in your display case at home, it really, really looks good in this position. Let's say you want to put it in a diorama with other weathered series machines. Let's bring out the CAT 745 articulated dump truck. Again, another new addition to DM's weathered lineup. You can take a look at my review of this model by clicking at the link at the top right corner of your screen right now. And there you go. Here's the two working together with the loader going into the side of the 745 dump truck. At least the height is well and truly high enough to get over the side with no issue. One last display possibility I would like to show you is how the wheel loader looks on a 150th scale low boy. Here in the United States, you would often see this wheel loader displayed in both directions on the low boy. Here we see it facing towards the rear of the trailer, but you will also frequently see it facing towards the trailer. So there's both display possibilities. And with the Diecast Masters XL HDG120 low boy, it is the perfect length to display a wheel loader of this size class. Before we end the video, let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the factory fresh, if you will, 966M from Diecast Masters, this model right here, against the weathered version, which of course is the star of this video. As you can see, they are identical in every aspect of the casting. One, obviously, though, has been working a lot harder than the other one. In conclusion, the Diecast Masters 150th scale Caterpillar 966M wheel loader is an excellent addition to any cat or construction collector's collection. The factory weathering job is a noticeable step up from some of the first Diecast Masters weathered models that they have released, and I believe it will only continue to get better if this series continues. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. You've heard my thoughts. I'm interested in hearing yours. Leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, be well. I'll see you in the next review.